Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. This morning we are out in the fuel shed and we are getting ready to clean out this centrifuge from the first 6,000 RPM batch we've made. And we're going to find a way to pump our oil back up into that tote for a multi pass test. We're going to see if it's worthwhile to run multiple passes through a direct drive centrifuge. Um, some say it's not worth it, some say it's very important, so let's find out. running down there and I've got a hose tied onto my tank vent so we're gonna try to fill it up that way it's uh, a little convoluted but uh, seems to be working all right I'll just leave you guys running in case this line blows off and makes a giant mess and you can catch it all on video It up doesn't like flowing straight oil, but uh, it's working, it's taking time. Well, that was fun. We got our uh, drum filled back up up there, and we're ready to go. I've got a mess to clean up here from uh, the uh, lid being left off and draining oil all over the place, and I've got to get this uh, bowl cleaned out again. So, once I get this bowl cleaned out and get it ready to run, I'll uh, bring you guys back out and uh, show you what's going on. Okay, got our bowl roughly cleaned out. It's uh, not perfect. I didn't run it through the ultrasonic this time, but I'm gonna do before and after weights, so that shouldn't matter. Got the scale zeroed out. Bowl on, three pounds, 13.65 ounces. So our bowl's back in, got it adjusted, ready to run the second batch. We've got the, the first run through the 6,000 RPM centrifuge pumped back into this drum. I'm not going to adjust this valve, which is our flow rate valve. I'm not going to adjust the temperature, a little over 200 degrees. So we're basically just gonna run this through just like it was ran through the first time. We're gonna see how much we pull out on batch number two. Also, just a note, all of that oil that was just pumped up to the top drum was ran through a 10 mic particulate filter. I'm gonna go on and open this valve up a little bit until we get a little bit of flow here. I wanna fill that heater all the way up. Yeah. Now I'm going to kick this heater on, let it warm up a little bit, and uh, then we'll get rolling. If you can hear it, our heater is up to temperature. So I'm going to go on and energize the centrifuge. I'll let her spin up slow first, and then I'll ramp the speed up. I'm gonna 
bring the oil in. Pretty well lit. I'm gonna let this go for a full batch and uh, do a little comparison on a single run through the direct drive versus multiple. I'm curious just how much it's worth it to do this because uh, I may be replumbing my whole setup here real soon. Anyways, we're gonna let this batch run the rest of the day and uh, we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, it should be done sometime this evening. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at it, see what's left in the bowl and go from there. I'm only gonna run this batch twice because I've got a lot of fuel to make for that thing. We're gonna be rolling out here in the next couple of weeks and I gotta get that 120 gallon tank full. So this batch I'm gonna run through twice and the next batch, depending on the outcome of this test, I'll run through probably two or three times. We'll just see. Depends on how much time I've got. I've got quite a bit of stuff to get done. So, we'll see how this turns out. Might still have moisture in it. Just something to note, uh, also, I just showed that the, I changed my vent setup. I threw a, I usually just leave this cap here off while I'm running, but uh, it gets really hazy in here and I don't like it. So I went on and just knocked another hole through the shed wall and uh, I didn't glue this up or anything, but it's just pop this off when uh, it's done, put the cap back on. But yeah, it's venting to the outside, but the vent coming directly off the centrifuge isn't producing any haze or anything. I mean, I can feel a little bit of air pressure here, but uh, that's just from probably from the movement of the bowl. But uh, no noticeable steam output, no noticeable heat. So uh, it's kind of interesting. Well, it's fairly late. But uh, the second run through the extreme unit has finished up. So I'm gonna climb up here and pop this lid off for the first time. Oof. Let's uh, see what we've got. Much better, much better, but we've still got whoo, 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 quite a bit in there. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get a light down in there. Yeah, just stuck against the walls, but a lot less moisture this time. Just some uh, pretty healthy buildup of sludge on the sidewalls, but it looks uh, looks really good in comparison to the first run. So, uh, yeah, I like that. So with that said, uh, I could see multiple passes definitely being useful. So I'm probably gonna do some plumbing changes out here. Um, Considering it doesn't take much time or much effort to do it with uh, everything set up the set up properly uh, Yeah, it's it's probably Half to th three quarters of an inch thick on the outside of that rotor all the way around But no Not to uh, not not a lot of sludge in the bottom like there was the first time so I'd say a lot of the moisture is gone, which is, uh, which is, which is good. Um, so yeah, 
I'd say it's definitely worthwhile. Um, the next batch I run, I may run more than twice. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but I'm not going to run this batch again. I've already mixed the gasoline in with the drum, and I'm not heating that up. So uh, that's ready to go in the tank on the bus. And we'll uh, start another batch here pretty soon. So, with all that said, uh, I'm calling it a night. If you all got any questions, comments, anything like that, drop it in the comments section below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.